it's over. What's up, Money Geeks, Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Robin Hood crisis. Um, you guys know I talk about Robin Hood here on the channel, you know how they good for investing, give you free stocks, and you can get started um, on that platform. Um, but this week, Robin Hood did something really, really stupid, um, which you don't see in the 21st century. Like the platform was completely down for 24 hours. And, and that's not even the case. When, even when they came back online, they went dead again for another two hours. And so I've been thinking lately, like I know Robinhood is a good platform if, for people that want to get started. Is it really a place for me? And here's why. I started doing some day trading, just testing the market and seeing how um, that works. And so my strategy has been, I uh, do my research overnight and get up in the morning and during the pre-market phase, um, I'll do a little bit of trading within that period and, and just kind of make some money, see if I can make some money um, my first 30 minutes into the market. And then after that, I'm, I'm done and I'm out and I go do my day job. So uh, this past week, I got up in the morning and I was super excited, you know, to, to trade. So I got in the market, bought some stocks, and so I was super excited. And I saw the stocks go from $16 I paid for it to $21 a share, like that. And um, I was sitting on about $4,500 in profit. And, and trust me, I'm not bragging here because I have no idea what I'm still doing. I'm still learning how to day trade. So and it so happened that the coronavirus is out there. So anybody that's working on developing a vaccine for coronavirus, when they put out any good news, their stocks spike. So I kind of found this company and they're working on a vaccine for it. And they said their vaccine was going for um, a level two test, which means that um, the FDA is actually looking into it, and which is good news. And so I bought that stock at 16 bucks and got up that morning, uh, it, it spiked to $21. So, and I'm like, hey, this is time for me to take my profit and get out. And I'm super excited, like that would, that would have been the most money I've ever made in less than 30 minutes, $4,500 in less than 30 minutes. So I jump on like, okay, let me sell the stocks and get out. But behold, I couldn't sell the stocks. Each time I keep saying, hey, sell, 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 I get, I keep getting an error message from Robinhood like, oh, error message, can't reach the server, can't reach the server. And I'm thinking to myself like, oh, maybe this is because I'm doing it on my phone. So I jumped on my computer, on my desktop, tried doing it again. I kept getting the same error message. And you know what is so worse during that whole period? I watched the stock go from the $21 that I was sitting on that was supposed to have made close to $4,500, down to 20, down to 19, down to 18, down to 16 that I paid for. So I was even at that point, down to 15, down to 14. And I'm like, oh my goodness, what is going on here? Um, then I got this email from Robin Hood like, oh yeah, we know um, that our, our servers are down. We're sorry, we're working really hard to try to fix it. I'm like, no, 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 no. I don't care about, I just need my money. And that went on all day. So that stock went from me being positive and almost making $4,500 down to me losing money. So that got me thinking. I'm thinking like, yeah, Robinhood is good for starters, but I don't think, since I want to test day trading, I don't think Robinhood is a platform for me. For me. So is it time for me to hashtag Robinhood walk away? I think at this time. But I wanted to make sure that I give them another shot. So the very next day, I got up, tried again. And between 9 a.m. and I think like 10.30, they had another glitch. And I'm like, wow. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. And I'm like, oh, I think it's about time I get out of this platform. And so, I'm actually in the process of hopefully liquidate all my assets out of Robinhood and move them into a new platform. Um, I'm thinking of some different options, or I'm thinking of or maybe Tink or Swim or uh, Wilbo. I'm doing some research. I'm testing Wilbo. I'm gonna do a video about it. Hey, you guys are really gonna love it. Wilbo is on fire. The platform is 
filled with a ton of information and research that you can definitely use. So I've been testing uh, Wilbo doing what I call paper trading on their platform, just testing to see if that was real money, how would the trade turn, turn out. So I've been testing that and so far, I'd say it's, it's good. And right now, if you use, use the link in the description and sign up for Wilbo, you get two free stocks. Isn't that awesome? That's a way for you to get started. So um, I'm gonna move my asset and I'm gonna do another video too showing you how I'm gonna how I'm migrating all my asset from um, from Robinhood to uh, Wilbo. It doesn't mean I'm never gonna use Robinhood. I'm gonna use Robinhood but just not for day trading. The platform is not built for day trading whatsoever. So that is our my little soliloquy today. Um, it's, been, it's been a really, really bad week for me. Um, watching 4500 go down the drain, like somebody flushing 4500 down the drain, um, and I just couldn't do anything about it. And then so, you're probably asking like, hey, why don't you call Robin Hood and figure out what's going on? They don't have a number. They don't have a customer service number. And so I sent them an email uh, that same day complaining about what had happened to me. I got a respond email like, hey, we got your email about your complaint and we're gonna look into it when we get there. Um, I don't know when that's gonna be because uh, I think everybody's complaining, right? So they probably have their hands full right now. So um, why I'm waiting for that, uh, I, I'm pretty sure somebody's gonna maybe sue them, maybe a class action lawsuit against Robin Hood for the damages that they caused. Um, granted, some people benefited, some lost money like me, I lost money. So if there's a class action lawsuit, <gasps> include my name, I wanna be on that and, and, and make sure that they compensate me for the losses um, that I actually incurred during that period. So um, that is that is about for this video, guys. I, I know it's me ranting and complaining about Robin Hood. Again, I mean, it's a platform for for beginners, it's not a platform for somebody that wants to day trade because, um, again, it doesn't have all the tools for day trading. Um, it's not as fast um, as far as the other platforms for day trading. So I've tested it, I uh, gave it a good shot, and it just didn't make the, the cut. So I'm gonna move on to another platform. Like I said, uh, right now there's two platforms on top of my list. There's Wilbo, which I said, if you use the link in the description below, you get two free stocks. Um, and then there's Tinker Swim from uh, TD Ameritrade. So those are the two that I'm actually trying to dabble with right now. Hopefully by the end of the week and into next week, I would have you know, put myself in a position to make that switch and I'm gonna let you guys know. So uh, question of the day, did you get any impact during that down or during that crash by Robinhood? And what do you think about Robinhood now that you know that it, they are capable of doing this to us? Let me know in the comment section. If you like the video guys, hey, go ahead and give it a thumbs up because that's how we get ranked here on YouTube. And as always guys, stay motivated.